Welcome back to Life is Strange. Episode 5 has just come out, which is the season finale. So let's just jump right into it. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody, except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look out. What the fuck? Control now. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. At least Mr. Jefferson isn't here. Is really? anybody out there? Please help! At least he's not in this room. The curtains do seem to be closed. He could be behind there. I'm sure he's going to show up at any moment. Probably to pose me and take photographs. Just like the other ones. Oh shit. Hey, Victoria. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. 
We were thinking she'd be the next victim. Hmm. See if we can wake her up. Victoria! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, she's still too drugged, I guess. Help! Somebody help me! <laughs> Straps are hurt. Ooh. Finally, I'm free. Okay, let's get this closer. Maybe there's Almost. something on it we can use. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh, right, it's a photograph of me, so I can go back to that time, right? I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, 
please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Okay, so that changed things a little bit, right? Because I went back and then I made it so that he couldn't dose anyone anymore. Because I spilled the stuff. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Use them for what? Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Oh, he took the photos out because it was getting wet, and now I can use the photos to travel into the time of the photo. Gotcha. It's nice that he took so many photos of me, because I can use every single one. Hold on, let's take a look around first, though. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where... where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max. I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here, and then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. 
I promise. Max, I believe you. Yeah, so Mr. Jefferson's just gonna blame everything on... Everything on Nathan. And honestly, that's gonna be really easy to do, and who the hell wouldn't believe him given Nathan's history? Okay, I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. We just need to keep changing things a bit, I guess. I don't know where, our, where this photo hopping is going to lead, but hopefully somewhere good. Anything else in here? Nope. This might work. <sighs> Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Something I want to mention here. If you remember, right before Max and Chloe went into the end of the world party, do you remember Warren? Warren was drunk. And he really, really wanted a picture with Max. And he took the picture. He took the picture with Max. And it seems like any photo with Max in it, Max can use to go back to the time the photo was taken. I think it was somebody in the comments a long time ago for the, the previous episode that mentioned that they thought that that photo was going to be important. And I think it will. I think once I get out of here, I might use that to go back to right before the end of the world party. Or at least right before we entered the end of the world party. A time when Chloe is still alive. And I think we're going to be able to change things from there. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. I, I don't think that's actually true. Nathan's certainly very sick, but I don't think he's nearly as sick as Mr. Jefferson. 
You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh. So Nathan did actually kill Rachel then. Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. Oh god, that music. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. So I, think, so I think I've got to go back. Personified. Yep. Camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. With a heart, heart. Let's keep going back. Okay. Wait, please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, leave it right there. With a 
I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, Let's Arnold. make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I wonder what's actually going to happen, though. I don't know. So many possibilities could spring forth from whatever yes. I whatever I decide I to change. I can warn David right now. Oh, except I need his damn number. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Like once I switch back to the present time, it's what the hell's going to be different? Everything's going to be different. This diary literally saved my life. All I need is David's number. This diary Oops. literally saved my life. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? <laughs> I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. There we go. David Madsen's actually going to help me, huh? This is finally good for something. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. It's the past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? This is not a good time for her abilities to fall apart. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. Phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. <laughs> but Mark Jefferson rules. Oh god, no he doesn't. Everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. 
Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Aww. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. I wonder if that will be enough to stop everything that... that happens with her. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Oh, let me see what photo opportunities there are for this episode. I want to make sure I don't miss any. Oops. Let's see. Another squirrel, beer bottles... Ooh, locker. And... What the hell is the one in the middle? Is that a whale on fire? Huh? duct tape and camera that's got to be in the the uh the basement where she's tied up is it in front of these windows that the picture showed because there was one of somebody like standing in front of a window kind of looked like this I guess not. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. <laughs> As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Okay, what's that actually going to do, though? Let's see. Draft an incident with Nathan? Still happened, right? Yep. Train track incident. Still happened. The eating food incident? Oh. Looks like they bust to the basement. He got arrested. Okay, it worked so far. Kate trying to kill herself. Digging up Rachel's body instead.
That's Max's photo. So she did she win the Everyday Heroes contest? Mr. Jefferson shooting Chloe. Didn't happen. Okay, so everything's perfect? No way. No way. That's way Whoa. too easy. Whoa. Airplane? Where the hell am I going? Okay. You're okay, Max. Oh, the Everyday Heroes thing You're in San safe. Francisco. On a plane. Yeah, we're going to San Francisco. I hope I did everything right this time. Local teacher arrested. Good work, David. You know, I said everything's okay, but that's not true. Rachel's still dead, of course. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Wowzer. Wowzer. <laughs> It just sounds ridiculous. That's still too easy. I mean, I know not everything is okay. Rachel's still dead, but that did fix most stuff, and that's just... That's too damn easy, right? Be careful. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. Wait, I'm between realities? Hmm... To admit, I love being called an artist. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Is that the hot the hot dog character that I saw? Wasn't it Kate drawing in the hospital? Aw, oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. <laughs> Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time, <laughs> when we were innocent. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner. Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night, around 8pm. Yeah, that was around the time of the end of the world party. There were two moons in the sky. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. No, it definitely happened. We saw it. Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Matson, head of security at Blackwell Academy, Police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott uh, to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even John Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse, where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Good! Investigate everybody! Because there is a lot of trash in Arcadia Bay that needs to be taken out. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of leg room, huh? What's on TV? We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. 
Oh, it's been all over the news. The How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Mm. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Did I change too much? I'm surprised that Max doesn't have any ill will towards Principal Wells. I mean, he's basically a corrupt principal who didn't do shit to protect the students. Look the other way because of all the money coming from the Prescotts? He's not... I mean, he's not exactly evil, but he's not good. He's not a good person. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. <laughs> please went from please stop saying wowzer. To this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. <laughs> I guess the oh man they so could have easily said life is strange but they specifically avoided it because I guess it would sound too cheesy and I guess it would have been too cheesy god yeah this is way too easy there's no way everything's gonna be okay she keeps getting nosebleeds something's gonna something's gonna happen this reality is gonna collapse or something be cool Max smile and don't say anything stupid. Or... Or... Hold on. I'm gonna stop for a second. I'm just gonna put something out there that I just thought of. You know the dough? Not, not like the bread dough, but like the animal dough that we've seen a couple times? The... Interphagial dough of many dimensions? That's the spirit animal of Max, right? And it always seemed like it, uh... It always seemed like it didn't belong in any specific reality, because it couldn't you couldn't rewind it, right? You could try to rewind, and it would rewind other stuff, but it w wouldn't rewind it. And it was like, kind of phasing in and out, it was... It was like partially transparent and, and just strange. And we even saw it at the end of the last episode, when we discovered 
I believe when we discovered Rachel's body. The dough was there. What if that's what happens to Max? What if she's changed so much that she's losing the ability to stay within any one specific reality, and so what ends up happening is that she just kind of phases out of any reality and becomes the, the doe? Kind of just maybe everywhere, all time, not, not angered, any one reality? And she can just jump in and out of realities, but she's never anchored to any one of them, and perhaps that's the doe we saw is the doe she will become? I don't know why she'd become a doe and not just herself, but I wonder if that could be her. And maybe that's what's going to happen to her. The more I talk about it, the more it sounds really, really plausible. Hmm. I'm going to call her right now and say that's what's going to happen. And if it does actually happen, I'm going to squee in delight. Although I suppose it wouldn't actually be a good thing for Max if that happened, so... I, I guess I'd squee in delight, but I'd also be super, super sad for Max. I don't know, if that does become her, then that's only one version of her that becomes that. She still continues to exist in all the other realities, right? Well, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.